I have never seen any plane that flies that far in my life to be honest uh, this is like the longest distance people have been I've ever created the swallow X so check this out again swallow X my new design based on the swallow so check it out Hello everybody, welcome to Tree Dang channel and today I am going to teach you how to make the Swallow X. The name of the plane tells you everything. This is a design based on the Swallow, an awesome classic paper airplane. So to make the paper airplane, you will need a piece of your letter size paper. If you don't have your letter size paper, what you can use? A4 paper? regular printing paper, not paper, not book paper, whatever papers, it must be a uh, rectangle size of paper then you can fold the plan. Anyways, let's start now. First step, let's fold the paper in half. Just fold slowly. Alright, and flatten the paper down. Next, start from this up edge, fold it to this side. Now unfold the paper, repeat the same fold for the opposite side. Very simple. And now let's flatten the paper again, flip it over, start from this point for straight down. Make sure that this corner match with the intersection of this edge and the crease. Place it down, unfold the paper, flip the paper over, start from this crease, fold both creases to the center crease. And now for this upper part down, very simple. Next, let's start from this part of the paper, fold straight up here. All right. Repeat the same fold for the opposite side. Okay, now I will start from this part of the paper for straight to the center. Rest out the paper hard. Repeat the same fold for this opposite side. Alright, on the following step, I will start from this edge for to this edge right here this outer edge to this edge of the other layer okay and repeat the same fold for the opposite side all right and on the following step just unfold this part of the paper same thing for here. Now we're going to create the head of the swallow. Now let's start from this edge forward to this crease right here. And repeat the same fold for the opposite side. Alright. And now let's create the head of the plan. Of the nose whatever you call it so I have this here turn the paper this way and I repeat the same fold rest is down all right okay and on the following step let's hold the paper up and fold this part of the paper down and then you can press the paper Let's see how it looks like. Awesome, right? Rest out this part of the paper as well. Rest out this part here. Press this out. And now fold the paper in half. Okay. 
by do by folding the paper airplane this way, you enhance the wings of the plane. That means the wings is very strong, and it can last long when you thread in the wings or outside. And this has a very strong head here. Nose, the nose is very strong, but be careful because it's dangerous. Okay, it may hit your eyes, or hit your face. It hurt you. It actually hurt me when I throw the plant. Okay, so now let's create the wings. This part, this part right here, will give you the preference to fold the wings. So start from this upper edge, fold it to the below edge. Curve it because this is very strong now. Curve slowly. And now you can press this down. Press this hard. Okay. Repeat the same fold for the opposite side. Curve it. And fold it down. This blend fly very high and very far. Okay. But first of all, make sure that you know how to adjust the wings. And if you thread for a long time, uh, it's, it's not a good plan anymore. If you thread like a thousand times or something, you bit up the paper and it won't fly very well anymore. But for now, this is a very good paper plan. But before you fly it, let's create the uh, stabilizers. Without the stabilizers, this plan will not fly very well. So let's hold the paper air plan right here. You may just use your finger as a preference to fold, but if you want, you can measure it's, it's about one and a half centimeters or just like a, a two third of an inch to create the uh, stabilizers. So I finished this one. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. The easiest way is to fold the paper in half. Once you finish this side, repeat the same fold for the other side. Here we go. So guys, this is almost done. But if you throw the plan now, it doesn't fly up. There's a little bit tweaked. That's what have the plan flies. Let's create the, um, what is called the uh, pinch elevator. So let's create the pinch elevators. This will have the plan fly. All right. So this is a new paper air plan. I hope you guys will enjoy making this plan. You can test this out yourself and you will, su you will be surprised how well it flies. Um, it's not a boomerang paper plane. I try it. It's one boomerang. You can throw it. It's like very high, much better than the Swallow XX, uh, because it's it's more balanced. So when you throw it straight up high, it will glide for a long distance. If you throw it straight far, it's like very very far, and it will not crash right away. Even you throw it, it doesn't fly straight. It will just glide slowly and then land on. Mm, the ground perfectly so guys this is the swallow x i hope you guys enjoy making this paper airplane don't forget to check out my other paper airplanes and other version of the swallows thank you for watching and see you on the next video bye bye